Hello and welcome to yoga. My name is Amanda of Happy Hippie Fitness and I will be taking you through this flow today. You don't need anything. Um, if you want to bring some blocks into the practice, you can. When you're ready, just meet me on the mat. We're going to get started in child's pose. I always like to start in the wide version of child's pose, which means my kneecaps go to the outside of my mat and my back toes touch. I'm going to begin to crawl my arms forward and rest my head on the mat. So starting to settle into your breathing here for just a few moments, try to ground yourself into the mat, feeling the mat underneath your fingertips and your head. Notice the feeling of aliveness in your body. And you can take this time to set an intention for our practice today, maybe an affirmation statement or something that you'd like to manifest into your day. I'm going to stay here for about two more breaths, just breathing deep into the belly and exhaling out of the mouth. One more time in through the nose and out through the mouth. You can return back to nose breathing. We're going to go into puppy pose from here to open our shoulders just for a few moments. So what I like to do for puppy pose is just walk my hands forward about one handprint, sit the hips back, the hands stay planted, and then I drop my head again. So it's basically a child's pose, but now we're stretching a little bit more of the shoulders. If you want to make it even deeper, you can think about walking the hands forward more and getting the chest down to the mat. It's okay if it doesn't touch. We're just trying to stretch the shoulders, that armpit and chest area. Slowly coming out of this pose by walking the hands back close to your body until they are directly underneath your armpits. We're in that tabletop position and we're going to take some cat cows at your own breath here. So for the first one, we drop the belly, drop the chest and bring the chin up to the sky as you inhale. And then as you exhale, you start to round the shoulder blades, tuck in the tailbone and push against the mat with those palms. So your shoulder blades rise up. Inhaling, we go back to that first pose. We go to cow and exhaling as we push against the mat in the cat. So add your own pace. Coming into our last round together. Go back into tabletop, bringing it ready for downward dogs. We're going to walk the hands about one handprint forward again. Tuck the toes under and we're going to start to push the hips back on a diagonal. So push the hips back. Focus on letting the head hang heavy. Maybe shake it yes, shake it no. You can pedal out the back feet here. So you have the option to stay in this downward dog or we can go into some spinal rolls which are really nice to wake up the spine and also get your heart rate up a little bit so we can get the energy flowing. All we're going to do is we're going to lightly bend the knees in our downward dog and then we're going to start to push our body forward until our shoulder blades reach our wrists. So now we're in a plank and then we're going to go back by bending the knees and pushing the hips up. So we can almost make it a fluid movement, movement. So I start to push my body forward, inhale. And then as I exhale, I push it back. So you're literally rolling your spine. The knee bend can help push you back more. So just work with your breath, maybe two more rounds here. We can meet in downward dog, catch your breath here. Notice how that feels. We can look at our hands and start to walk the feet forward into a nice big forward fold. So generous knee bend, let the upper body hang and sway. Inhale, we'll halfway lift. Exhale, we'll fold. You can grab the elbows if you'd like. 
Inhale, we're going to rise up one vertebrae at a time. So think about the lower vertebrae pulling you up and then moving up the spinal column. Head is the last to rise. So just take a breath here before we get into anything else. We're going to do our flow on both sides of the body, starting with our right side. So for our right side, we're going to lean onto our left leg and just bring the right knee up. Taking a second to find a focus point for this balance pose. We can start to kick the foot back and fall into our warrior three. Keeping your eyes focused on that one spot in front of you. The hands can go into airplane arms or they can reach out right in front of you. Take one more breath here and we're gonna step that back right foot down into warrior one. Ooh. Happens to everybody guys, balance is tricky sometimes. So evening out the hips, keeping the arms up above the head, sinking into that left leg. Taking an exhale as we open up in the warrior two here, so the front leg stays bent, the back foot is open. And then we're gonna start to lightly bring the bent knee loose. I'm not locking out my knee completely. I'm just straightening it out, but there's this really micro bend in the knee here. We're gonna get ready for triangle. So for triangle, think about bumping the right hip out. So if there was a wall right where my hand is, you're bumping the right hip out. The left arm, gently pretend somebody's pulling your hand. And then we can start to go down and press against our leg to open up in a triangle. Breathing into it here, it's a very gentle pose, stretching the side body. And maybe you can try to bring that arm over your head and deepen it. And we are gonna come back with that bent knee. So start to bend that knee a bit. We're gonna come up into our warrior two. Taking one breath here, we're gonna cartwheel the arms forward down so they touch the mat. And then we're gonna open up into our dragonfly. So if this is too much, you can bring the back leg down. You can invite a, blo a block underneath your hand. If you need to adjust your practice, go right ahead. Take one breath here. And then all of us are gonna bring the back knee down. Flatten the top of your foot. Take a second in this lunge. And then we're slowly gonna push the hips back and straighten out the left leg until we have our half split position. So blocks can go on your side or you can hinge forward until your hands touch the mat to stretch out our calves and our hamstring on the left side. I like to move my ankle around, play around with the position. Taking one more breath here. Coming out of our fold, we keep the legs the same where we're coming up to the hands. I'm gonna bring my hands behind me and lower myself down into a seat. So it can look different for everybody. We're just lowering ourselves down until we're in a figure four position with our legs. So my knee on the right side is bent, left leg is straightened. Deep breath, bring the hands up over the head. And on the exhale, we are gonna forward fold, grabbing whatever you can on the left side, whether it's a knee, a calf, a foot. I'm really sinking to that stretch. We can take our left hand and grab the inside of your left foot. So we're hooking our hand basically into the foot. We're gonna press actively against that foot to propel open your chest and you're gonna feel a nice side stretch and even a bit in the lower back. So we can bring our hand up over our head or if that's too much, you can just bring the hand down to the side. Deep breath in, exhale, sink a little deeper. And we're gonna come out of this pose by cartwheeling our hands behind us. So right arm comes back like so, 
and we're gonna lift ourselves up off the ground into waterfall. So press into your back heel on the straightened leg, press into your hand, and we're coming up into a beautiful little side bend called waterfall. You can look up if you want to twist, you can look ahead of you. And we'll come down, hips come down, arms come down. Option here for one more little lift. I'm gonna take my right leg, place the foot flat on the mat. My arms haven't moved, they're right behind me. Squeezing the shoulder blades together, we're gonna do a reverse plank, just one leg. So it's a little easier having this foot down. I'm gonna press into both my heels. It starts to lift myself up as I look up at the ceiling. And come down. Beautiful. You can bring both your knees into your chest and give yourself a hug here. Shake out the neck. You can look down. Now you can transition to a forward fold. You can either go into tabletop pose, rolling forward, or I'm going to take a malasana. So I'm going to come up standing from a yogi squat. But like I said, you can come onto all fours, downward dog, and then walk up to your mat. Or you can place your hands by your side. We're going to get both the feet on the mat and I'm gonna push myself into a squat like so. So whatever you're more comfortable with, take a second in the downward dog or take a second in this squat. And then when you're ready, we can rise up to standing. So we're gonna repeat that sequence on the other side. So we did our right foot first, so now we're gonna hit our left side. I'm gonna face this side so you guys can see me and I'm not facing the wall. But deep breath in. Push all the weight onto the right side of your body and start to bring the left leg up, finding the focus point. Getting ready to start to push the left leg behind you as you lean forward into warrior three. What you do with the arms is up to you. If you wanna put them in front of you, keep them behind you in airplane arms. One more breath here and we will step back into warrior one. So we're in that nice low lunge, taking a second to breathe, check to see if you could see your toes. If you can't, you wanna bend that knee a little bit more and bring the back leg back. And we're gonna open up into our warrior two, so the back foot pivots open like so. Gazing over those fingertips. We're slowly gonna to start to straighten out that front leg, again, micro bend the knee, don't lock it out. The hips on my left side are gonna push out. My right arm is gonna lean forward like I'm shaking someone's hand. And then I come down into triangle. I like to push my hand against my leg. You can always put a block here as well. Maybe you wanna bring the arm over your head, extend that side bend. Just remember how good it feels to be able to move, to put yourselves in these positions. No need to judge your body for what it can and what it can't do. And we're gonna pull ourselves up using our side body. Generously start to bend that right knee again. And then we're gonna cartwheel the arms down into that dragonfly pose. So again, if you have the block, you can bring it in. Otherwise, we're gonna twist open. Taking a few seconds here to feel that nice stretch. And then we'll bring our back knee down and transition into half splits. So we push our hips back, straighten the front leg, grab the blocks if you need and fold over that thigh. Rolling the ankle, playing around with the flex and point if you'd like. Then we can push our hands back until we are seated on our bums. Our left leg is bent, right leg is straight. Arms up over the head, deep breath in. Exhale, we fold and grab onto whatever you can find. Release the tension in the neck and shoulders. Start to soften into the pose. We're gonna take our right hand on the inside of the right foot, kind of hooking on, and we're gonna actively push that foot away from us as we turn open the chest 
and reach the arm up and over for a beautiful side bend. Trying to keep the eyes up at the sky if you can. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, sink a little deeper. Let the muscles release. We're going to get ready to come out of this pose and bring the arms behind us. So we're going to cartwheel the arms up. My left hand is on the floor. I'm going to bring myself up for the little waterfall. So it's basically a supported side plank with a beautiful reach. Feeling the opposite stretch. And we'll come down. We can bring both arms behind us, again, for that optional reverse plank. So your left foot comes flat on the mat. If you want to make it harder, feel free to bring both feet out. Take a deep breath, press into your heels on both feet, and lift. Squeeze the shoulder blades, try to look up. And we come down here. Beautiful job. So scoot yourself down to the center of your mat. We're going to work our way onto our backs nice and slow. Hug the knees into the chest. Maybe make some circles in one direction and then the other. We're going to go into some twists. So I'm going to put my right leg flat on the earth. The left knee, I'm going to cross that over my torso until I am in a nice twist here. You can look over the opposite shoulder to deepen the twist. And start to come out of this twist back to center. A little lengthen the left leg, right knee comes to the chest. Same thing on the other side. We cross the knee over the torso and look over the opposite shoulder. Slowly coming out of this twist onto your back. We'll take a quick shavasana here so you can either go into the leg strengthen position or I'm going to bring both of the soles of my feet to touch and open up in a supta konasana so this is a nice hip stretch. So find something comfortable for you. Let your hands get heavy, let your head get heavy. We're just going to take a few moments to notice the difference in our bodies and our minds. And come back to the intention that you set for yourself today. Knowing that you took the time to do something good for yourself. And that you shouldn't place any judgment on anything you've done today. Remember you're always doing your best. When you're ready you can join me in a seated position. Take your time getting there. But thank you so much for joining me today in yoga and hopefully I will see you soon. Enjoy your day.